Welcome to the ERM app tutorial. Here you'll learn two key things. Number one, your ultimate objective in Avive. And number two, achieving your objective. Your ultimate goal here is to find enough movileniums to evolve. And the way to do that is through the process of commerce. Each person gets some money to begin with. You have to use this money wisely in order to make more money so that you can mine movileniums. Now that you know your goal, you'll need to learn how to achieve it using the Evive app. You need to do three things in order to evolve. Harvest your land, trade your resources, and mine movilenium. In Evive, there are different types of lands, and each of these lands will give you specific resources. They're pretty simple to follow. Earth gives you bricks, forest gives you wood, farm gives you grain, lake gives you fish, plains give you sheep, and mines, of course, give you movilenium. With enough movilenium, you can conduct the genome experiment through which you and your team can evolve. On your app dashboard, you'll see the lands you own. You can harvest them by touching here to select the land, and then by touching harvest to begin harvesting. It may take anywhere from one to five weeks in game time to harvest your land depending on your skill level. Trade your resources. You trade your resources for money with the chief, who brings you offers. These offers are on a first come first serve basis, meaning the first one of you to accept the offer gets it. When you accept the offer, you see a notification that says you have accepted the offer. A trick on earning money is to ensure that you fulfill the offers you accept. The chief brings the market's demands and you supply the demand with your resources, which you can see in your inventory. For example, here the chief says deliver one grain in five weeks and get 300 kronos. There is a demand for grain and if you accepted that offer, you'll have to fulfill that demand with a grain that you would have to harvest from your farm. If you fail to deliver an offer in the stipulated time, the offer will expire. Delivering offers will earn you money. Lastly, mine movilenium. Your evolution depends on movilenium. In order to gain movileniums, you'll need to buy a mine and then mine the mine. Remember, buying the mine is expensive, so you'll need to do some commerce with the chief before you can purchase it. And like any other land, mining the mine will also cost you money. Note that movileniums are rare, and you may not always find movileniums when you mine. But your chances of mining more and better movileniums increase as you become more skilled. Once you gain movileniums, you'd send it to Krob in order to progress your genome alteration experiment. With enough movileniums, you'll be able to evolve. So in a nutshell, you and your teams must harvest your lands, trade your resources with the chief, and mine movileniums in order to evolve. Who's, who's doing what when, so we don't all jump in perhaps straight away with everybody buying something. Um, what i'm not so sure yet <laughs> but i think yeah i think spacing it out would be a a wise thing to start with otherwise we're going to perhaps all be trying to do something at the same time rather than all contributing on one or two things um not sure what you think about that but Gipsa? i know no one's in charge right now but i'm just trying to get through everybody yeah. if that's all right yeah, yeah. yeah. someone has to play the role right someone has to play the role yeah, yeah, I appreciate it. So, uh, John, I actually agree with Craig. You know, we will have to devise a strategy so that we are all able to first, you know, devise our resources in a way we understand who is uh, doing what because we are going to need all of them in a moment of crisis, as just the like just the one that Mosin has showed us. So, kind of a strategy that is something we will have to devise all together. Awesome, uh, Nicole. I'm gonna be. You sheep here. Yeah. I'm just gonna follow <laughs> wherever and whatever. I'll jump in later on. Uh, <laughs> I have to figure it out first. <laughs> I'm dyslexic, so it takes me a little bit more time. Okay, and uh, forgive me if I mispronounce your name, uh, Rohit. Uh, no, that's right. Rohit is right. Uh, I think one of the things we have to figure out is in terms of uh, who's um, looking at which resource. So in case we don't all up, end up, for example, at the lake or all at the forest, I think what uh, Craig was also mentioning. So that spacing out 
we need to first decide who does which resource uh, and how does all this work towards uh, mining uh, movilinium which is what we need so uh, i'm still also honestly trying to understand uh, you know how all these resources help us get to movilinium so that part probably i'm not very clear on so yeah that's my understanding so far okay and uh, sanjeev So I had the same idea in mind in terms of allocating, uh, you know, what kind of resources somebody would be picking up. But then I also figured that you know the game has this thing about picking up clusters. Uh, so if you are clicking on that one silver dot, you automatically pick up three different kind of resources. What my understanding is right. Uh, so to for us to figure out, you know, uh, what is that one thing that people are going to look at? Because I think there are six type of resources in the six of us. So maybe we can look and spot out that uh, one silver dot, which is very closest to our resource that we want and pick up that cluster. And like then Rohit and everybody else also said earlier, then we'll have one uh, resource to focus on for each of us. So even if, say, I get fish and uh, I'm only focusing on fish out of the other two resources that I'm mining, then it becomes easy for me to accept the offers and you know sell it up and get more uh, money and uh, chronos in so that we can go and mine it. Awesome. Uh, okay, so I'm going to sort of take my own thoughts and take what you guys just said and maybe throw out what I think a plan could be, and then maybe we just talk about it super quick. Is that okay? Okay. Uh, so I really like uh, Sanjeev's idea, and maybe while I'm talking, Sanjeev, maybe you can write down all of our names really quick and assign a resource to every person so that maybe when we start this, we kick it back to you and you tell us uh, maybe what we're responsible for. Um, and then when any, uh, I guess this back to what Craig said, anytime a, uh, uh, an offer comes on the table, we all read it. Nobody selects it until we've read it. And, um, at this point, obviously Sanjeev knows who has what, um, on his thing. And, and we at least get one person to agree to it, which would maybe be Sanjeev, uh, if that's okay with you would be like, Hey, I want to accept this offer. Uh, I don't know if that's too much, uh, and that's kind of the only idea that I, uh, you know, to string together was was Craig's and Sanjeev's, which is we work together, obviously. Um, we probably want, instead of everybody accepting everybody's uh, language and talking over each other, I think maybe it would be a good idea to just have the attention of one person. So maybe you just call out somebody, hey, I have wood right now. Uh, I'm about to get 300 chronos. I'll split it with you, even. And maybe if we make a deal right out of the gate that we're going to split these deals so that we all make money, maybe that would be a good idea. And now I'll shut up and kick it over to you guys to maybe say what you didn't like about that or, or go forward from there. I like the idea. I think, uh, as Mosin said at the beginning, we're working together, right? We're all part of one team or whatever you want to call us. I can't remember what he named us. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think that's a, a good strategy. Just give it a try, see what happens, I think. So I just had one question. Uh, you know, I would want to ask this to Mohsen. So where do we get to understand what, how, uh, what's the timeline of the resources expiring? Because I couldn't find it in the demo. I was trying to look at you know, when it is going to expire. And then I went, uh, when I went go to sell it, then it's automatically gone. So okay. somebody needs to, I think, keep an eye on that because in the heat of everything, I think that's something that will get missed a lot. We'll have to keep using our chronos to buy uh, resources again and again. Yeah, so when you're on the land itself, you've got the different types of lands. When you click on the land, the, on the bottom left of the screen, you will see um, a couple of information points about that respective land, which may be the harvest time, uh, the expiration time and the cost. So you will see that data right at the bottom left of the screen below the, the resource tile. Um, and if you want to know in real time uh, how long, how much time you've got before the resource expires, uh, you can go to the cell screen in the additional menu and there you'll be able to see how much time is left for that resource before it expires. Okay, got it. Got it. And I have a question uh, as well. Can you, uh, 
do you have to go in specifically to sell a resource or should we wait for offers or is that for us to figure out on our own? Uh, so there are two two levels of trading that you're doing. The first level is trading with the chief because the chief is bringing the external market demands. And then the second level is internal trading. So somebody needs a certain resource that you might need to give to them. Uh, and the, the selling or the trading is uh, done in two different ways. So if you're selling to the chief, then you would need to go to the offers button and you need to hit the deliver button. If you don't hit the deliver button, then the resource is not sent to the chief automatically. All right. So you need to send it uh, by pressing the deliver button. And if you want to sell a resource to anybody else in the team, you would go to sell in your additional menu, the hamburger menu on the top right of the screen. You would press that menu and then you would go to sell and that's where you would select the resource that you want to sell. You would name your price, how much you want to sell it for, and then you would uh, sell that uh, resource there. Awesome. So uh, I guess, Sanjeev, you want to tell us, uh, I don't know if you had, if you understood or, or uh, we need to circle back and maybe say what resources we want. Uh, do you have that already? Yeah, I think, uh, so I don't remember all of them. So maybe so, uh, let's uh, list them really yeah, quick. Just choose. So if, you know, there. I think there is there was fish, there was sheep, there wood, bricks. So okay, I so we got that. bricks. Somebody name your name real quick. Somebody who gets bricks. Um, me, Rohit. Uh, Rohit. Okay. Uh, okay. The next from bricks is uh, wood. Who wants wood? Yeah, I'll get wood. It's okay. Craig. Break. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then we have, uh, I guess, the grain, right? Um, who wants that? I'll take the grains, Nicole. Nicole. Okay. Uh, fish. Who wants that? I'll take the fish. Sanjeev. And I'm I'm forgetting what the other two are. Anybody? There's a sheep. Yeah. Yeah, that's me, the plum. And the mines. And it's the what? Well, the mine. Sheep and mine. Sheep. Okay, yeah. sheep. Who wants the sheep? Dip that's me, Dipsa. Dipsa. Okay, and then there's nothing. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. We have five. I'm left over. Uh, I'm okay with not making so much money and maybe helping you guys. And so maybe you guys come to me and I'll help you. I don't know. But do we have a miner? Do we have somebody who's going to actually make the money, you know, and help our survival for the genome? Doesn't everybody, isn't everybody responsible to potentially buy a mine? I'm not sure if that's true. Yeah, but if you're working all together, I won't have money with my grains to buy anything because I'm going to be helping out you guys so somebody else <laughs> needs to help us survive. Oh. So I guess I that question goes I... to uh, uh, Monson. Um, do, do you need a designated... Can everybody here buy uh, mine or will it deplete your resources so much that you're kind of out of the game once you start buying some of the mine? No, that's entirely up to you guys. I mean, you can decide to buy a mine, one person or five people. That's entirely up to you guys. Okay. Uh, Nicole, I think if we're all doing what Craig said and we all wait uh, on the offer to decide who wants the offer, and I have everybody's name of who's got what resource, I can just call the name of the, the person and say, hey, Dipsa, are you going to get that resource? She would say yes or no. Uh, and then from there, maybe you guys come back and tell me what you have. Um, and then I'll just try to help you. And then maybe I save some of my money to be able to help you when you need something extra. And I can maybe sell my resource to you, if this makes any sense, at a loss for me so that you can win the offer and then give something back to me. I don't know if that makes any sense. 
Oh yeah, there's a, there's a fund transfer as well that you guys all can do. So you can transfer funds to each other as well. Guys, I'm, I'm afraid we're running out of time. You know, Earth is becoming a methane planet as we speak. Uh, no, and no, just a minute, I received the link that you sent here, uh, you know, to it. Yes. But it also asks for a code, so. Yes, yes. So you're gonna be, uh, for you, uh, Dipsa and Nicole, you guys are gonna be logging in using this link. And this yeah. is only for the two of you, everybody else, you guys are going to be playing on your phones because you didn't have any problems with your phones. But All right? do I use the same code that you gave? That is 794. No, no, no. I'm going to give you a new code. Oh. I'm going to give you a fresh code. Now, just one thing I want to say about uh, the web version, folks, uh, and this is for specifically for Dipsa and Nicole, do not press the back button on the top. You know, you've got the back and the forward on the browser itself, don't press any buttons in the browser because it's gonna kick you out of the game. So stay inside the window, stay inside the game to continue interacting with the, with the game. So even if you wanna go back, stay inside the game, all right? Okay, folks, we are ready to go. And uh, like I said, this time it's real deal. Uh, I took the liberty of calling you guys World Warriors last time, is that okay? Are you cool with that name? Yeah, World Warriors. All right, sounds good. So World Warriors. And, um, you know, last time I was around to send you guys money, but this time I won't be around. So uh, make sure you don't go bankrupt uh, because Uncle Mosin isn't around anymore. So. We have right. Uncle John. We have Uncle John, right. <laughs> Great. All right, folks, I'm sharing my screen with you now. Uh, and for Dipsa and Nicole, hopefully you guys have opened up the new window and are ready to go as well as everybody else on the home screen. You guys are seeing the app code, which is 6203. So enter in the app code 6203 and log in, uh, enter your name, and then log into the gameplay. Okay, super. Great, looks like everybody is in and we are ready to kick this thing off. All right, guys, wish you the best and may the force be with you. So uh, again, Brick is Rowett. Wood is Craig, Grain is Nicole, Fish is Sanjeev, Sheep is Dipsa. So if you guys want to go to the outside rim and pick your things or whatever you are going to do so that you can get at least some of your resource. Uh, just a couple of inf pieces of information here, guys. You have a dashboard in front of you. I'll be taking just a couple of minutes to show you what this dashboard is. As you can see here, this is the number of days you have before Earth becomes a methane planet. So you've got to evolve before this time runs out. There is a time factor. Uh, this here is the second most important element, which is your tribe value. It is your reputation, which means how reputed your tribe is. The more reputed, the higher the reputation of your tribe, the more lucrative opportunities you will get. Uh, the way to influence that is by making sure that you fulfill the offers you accept. This here is your global tribe dominance, which is how much land you own. So as you buy more land, you will see that world warriors uh, number will go up, which means you will earn more land. And this is your ultimate, ultimate objective right here, your genome alteration experiment. Your goal is to make this go from zero to 100%, and that is your, the way to do that is by submitting Movileniums into your account, into your tribe account. When you get Movileniums, call me out. I will assist you and show you how to submit Movileniums to the CROB account, uh, but this is your ultimate goal. And if you were looking, you noticed that there are three other tribes in this ecosystem. There's Nemesis, Ranger, and Siegfried, which is also three tribes outside of here who are wanting, uh, going after the same resources as you. So the team to finish the genome experiment first is the one that's gonna ultimately evolve. But your goal is not to beat them, your goal is to complete the genome experiment from zero to 100 before the days run out. All right guys, I've talked enough, over to you and wish you the best.
Everybody's clicked the back button. If you uh, saw that other thing, you can start harvesting now. Um, Is everyone harvesting? Yes. Yep. Thumbs up. Yeah. All right. So this is uh, oh, the fish. Okay. Road got the fish. No, Road, your brick. Who, uh, yeah, yeah. who just accepted I the, got the fish? fish? Okay. And what's the offer for? I do a seed offer. Go, okay. go to your yeah, offer. You should see, you should see yeah. what you selected for your offer. 100, so one fish, 300 kronos. One fish. 300 Kronos. And who just accepted that? Me. No, no, no. There's another offer. Who just accepted the second offer? Uh, I just accepted. That was for Brick. Okay. And what was your offer? Uh, it was too fast. <laughs> uh, I think yeah, so let's, let's take a, let's pause real quick when, when, when those come up so that we can at least capture that. Okay. It was one Brick, uh, five weeks. For Delivery how much? Time. Okay. This is another one fish. Another Are you going to be able now. to do another fish, uh, Yes, Sanjeev? Yes, okay. I've accepted that. And Rohit, how many uh, uh, Kronos do you get for that? That's 300 Kronos. Sweet. I'll, I'll pause. Do you guys want me to do this or not? Like, I, I don't want to yeah. step on anyone's toes. Yeah, I'd rather you did it, to be honest. I think we need a coordinator. Yeah, okay. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. All right, this is a, a wood. So, Craig? Yeah. You got one wood for 300? Someone accepted it already, but um, I could have done, but now it's not in my uh, office. I, I accepted it actually. It was one wood in five weeks and uh, 300 clones, yes. For, for one wood? You, uh, so Dipta, whoever aren't you, you're uh, sheep, Dipta, right? I'm sorry? You are, uh, you are sheep, correct? I know. It, I just. It was just too quick. It came on, and I just accepted it. But if you, okay. if someone else sees it, um, the uh, the others can't find the offer, right? Am I right? Because I can't Correct. see the offer. Yeah, so, okay. Sure. So okay. Let's just make a, a rule for everyone: like, don't accept anything until the person that owns that resource tells you that they can take it or not take it. So, if uh, grain, so for instance, this one's okay. wood. The person that owns I'll take wood it, is I'll take it. So Craig's got that one. Yeah. John, just an update. I delivered two of the offers. You just delivered? Yeah. And are you going to go I'm back harvesting. and harvest again or yeah, upgrade? Or I'm not sure how that works either. Yeah, I'm harvesting again. I'm just looking at fishes right now. OK. And so we can sell stuff to each other. Uh, if you guys have resources, they're going to expire, right? So if you have an excess, so this one's for two grain. Nicole, are you going to be able to have two grain? Um, Oh, someone just well, accepted that. I've won. I've won. I've won. I've won yet, but um, I can't do anything. With it. <laughs> who, who just accepted the two grain offer? Yeah, I have two grain offers, but my grains are are, <laughs> are not harvesting fast enough. Do you, uh, no, no. Did someone when the chief came on? Who accepted that offer? I'm accepting those two fishes. Yep. Does anybody so have weird. a grain that they can sell to uh, Nicole right now? I, I have one grain I can sell to Nicole. Can you sell it to uh, Nicole? Uh, so you just go into the app uh, underneath. Uh, okay, where do you go? Um, the menu, the menu on the right. Seven? Okay. Oh I yeah, the menu, the three, the three thing on the right. Go to sell, yeah. and yeah. then sell. And there's two sheep again. So the tips of. Uh, I have you, that. Yeah. And I'm okay. sending the green uh, to Nicole. Yeah, but how do I? I mean, sell harvest, and then you know, I don't know if I can. It, yeah, it's in your sell button. Yes, I have sent it. Sell to Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so you got it, Nicole. So make sure you obviously put that in, and then submit your offer. And then who just selected the two sheep? I, I sent the wood. You got the wood, Craig. Who? Yeah. So, uh, Dip, so you got the two sheep. Yep. Okay. Does anybody else have a resource right now that they could use to pass to somebody else before it expires? I need. Does one. anybody have a wood that they could give to Craig? Okay, brace oh. for impact. 
I, I need okay. one too. Go ahead. Race for impact, guys. Uh, we just yeah. got a race for impact. Okay. We have another quick going. <laughs> I've sold two wood. Delivered two wood, so it's okay. Okay. And, yeah, and uh, means, I delivered one brick. So okay, we're delivering them. Uh, how are we actually making money for Movillenium? Do you guys want to pass the Movillenium, um, your money to me to buy the Movillenium, or how do you want to do it? Yeah, we can do that. I think, yeah, I think we'll do that. That's better. Yeah. Okay. I saved so, my money, so I have extra Chronos right now. How much do you need for the mine? Was it? You need the mine, right, oh, for the moment, Movillenium? Or? I'm not. Uh, I'd have to I can't see it because of this disaster right now, which I guess gives us a yeah. chance. I have a disaster going on right now. <laughs> All of us. All of us. Um, yeah, me too. We do. We do. Right now, so let's use the time to talk uh, while the disaster is going on. Um, anybody you want to just throw out what's working, what's not working, what you want to change? I have to sell two sheep. I have one. If anybody can sell me one sheep. Who has an extra sheep? Anybody? Yeah, the okay, thing is, they're going very fast. Yeah, so, so you even okay, we're try, back. you have something and it's already gone. Okay. Uh, all right. Anybody want to sell me anything for the? Uh, here, I'm going to see if I can buy. So the mines are a thousand, which is too much. Can of you guys really quickly tell me how much Kronos you have? So John, okay. I, will, I I can transfer you some Kronos. Okay. I can give you how much do we have? I, have one, I, I one. hate to be the bearer of bad news, but uh, Nemesis has evolved to 20% already, as you guys can see, and uh, we are still at zero. And oh. another data point for you, of the 100% of offers that you've accepted, 50% have gone unfulfilled. Okay. Sanjeev, did you, uh, you took two offers. You took one fish and two fish. Did you, and then there's another one for fish. Yeah, fish. Do you actually yeah. have fish? Uh, not right now because I have not harvested it's right now. So I think I'll just decline it. Decline it. Decline yes. it. Yeah. Okay, uh, John. Maybe, maybe get another one quick. And I'm John, I just some chronos, John. Yeah, John, I also transferred you 200 chronos. Okay, that's great. So I have 340 chronos for everybody to know that right now. So, so this is wood. Yeah, I can do this. All right, Craig's got it. Uh, I can harvest wood, uh, Craig, if you want, so that I can pass you wood. Okay. Um, yeah, go for it. Go, go for it. Yeah, yeah. I should be able to just deliver this offer now. Yeah, done. Offer delivered. Okay. Does anybody else have an offer outstanding or resources that are sitting there, or is everybody at zero? John, I have I a grain. Find... Oh, you have you have grain, Nicole? Yeah, but I just have one, but they disappeared. Does anybody else have can... another grain? No, that is an offer right now. Uh, yeah, do you want to accept the offer? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Yeah, but I need another grain or I need some money. <laughs> Does anybody have some, a grain uh, that they can harvest and pass to Nicole? No. Yeah. John, I can, I can transfer some money. I can send you some money. Okay. I can almost buy a mine, by the way. I have 990, so just keep sending, sending it to Walk me. me through. Walk me through how to send money. I don't know how, who's doing that. I don't know how to do it. Uh, Rohit, you you sent money. Can you yeah, tell me? Uh, if, you, if you go to uh, the menu, those yeah. three bars, or the, uh, right at the bottom yeah, of yeah, that, yeah. on the left, you'll find fund transfer. Oh, yeah, cool. Okay. And you can select the person to whom you want to transfer. Okay. So, so, do you guys want me? So, here's a question for everybody Do you want me to, on the menu, I can buy Movillenium? I'll send you 500. Or I thank you. I have a ton now, so I can buy a mine and I can probably buy mobile name. I'm gonna do that. Are you guys good with that? Yeah, do it. So I'm Go buying a, yeah. a mine right now. I just purchased a mine, and it's 250 Kronos to do it. I'm gonna do that now. Yes. Yeah, do it. Yeah. I'm harvesting it. Do you need more money, or, or I'm no? down to 220 uh, Kronos right now. And I have, it says four weeks until my mind is good. Who got wood? Two wood I think that. Yeah, that's fine. Two wood's fine. Uh, Nicole, do you still have the uh, the grain? Yeah, the one and that's going to Yeah. Uh, did, you, uh, did you try harvesting another one? I don't have enough money. Oh, can someone send her money? Oh, Nicole, I'm... Okay. Who needs money? 
Nicole needs cool. money. <laughs> How much, How much money, money do you need, Nicole? Accept the fish or decline the fish. I can't do anything. I declined it. Declined it. Decline. Nicole, how much money do you need? Nicole? Just send her send her what you got. So she I'll can give her like 300 and then there you go. Yeah. So Nicole, you should have enough money now to harvest that extra grain to get the grain to, to do the offer for the chief. So just to keep everybody in the loop, I have 220 chronos. I'm two weeks away from the mine, uh, and I have one wood, Craig, so I can send that. How do I do that? Yeah, yeah. send me the wood. So go to sell wood. I'm going to sell it to Craig for zero. Can I do that? Yeah. Did it go to you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dang, that was cool. Thank you. Yeah. All right, so you should have been able to accept an offer, yeah? So let yep. uh, John, I have uh, one thousand one forty chronos. Do you do you need any to buy the machine? Yeah, there? send send all of it. Send some. <laughs> uh, I, I guess we should all dive send into John now, or just send it all to me. So uh, sheep, uh, sheep is Dipsa. Are you good um, to do? Yeah. Sheep? I don't have you any part. I believe you don't have what. No. Can you, can someone, uh, Sanjeev, can you send the money and send to me, can you send it to Dipsa? And Dipsa, can you accept this offer for two sheep and then harvest two sheep? I am not able to, so somebody has I to, somebody to do something to the, yeah, yeah, I said decline, decline, decline the offer. Okay, yeah. okay. All right, so my, my thing's going to do in four days, uh, and we're about to find out what happens with my mine that I'm harvesting. <laughs> Anybody have anything that they want to chime in with? If you don't have enough money, say it. Uh, that's a new rule. You don't I, have I, don't have any, I don't have any money. You don't have any? Uh -huh. Have you got anything in harvest or, or not? I do. Oh, sorry. Okay, so you mine Movillennium. So now what do I do? Congratulations on mining your first Movillennium. What you need to do, John, is you need to press the, the, the transaction menu on the top right, and then you need okay. to go down to CROB, and yep. then you need to go to send MV, send Mobilenium. Yep. You need to enter in the number and then send the Mobilenium to CROB. What, uh, what number do you know? One. You have one, right? Oh, okay. Two grain. Can you do that? Can someone, can someone give me one grain? And as soon as you do that, you can see your mobilenium has increased in your dashboard. Can you see that? Yes. I uh, I need money in order to uh, harvest. I need another 30 uh, chronos. Can someone send that to me, please? Yes, I'm doing that. If you If anybody has extra money that is not harvesting something right now, um, too cheap. So too cheap. Too cheap. Somebody please accept. Uh, it. Ipsa, do you have money now? Yeah, but somebody needs to accept or decline this offer of sheep. I think it's worth twelve hundred chronos. That's a ton. So can we give? Can can you accept that? And we can all help you, Dipsa, to get sheep. I. Does that work or no? No, I do. I have eighty nine chronos, but you know, I don't see the offer on. I don't know if somebody has accepted it or. Oh no! Here we go. Here we oh, go. Sorry. We last yeah. four weeks. <laughs> four weeks. Ah, oh, shit. I have three um, grains. So no, any grains. Uh, okay, so yeah, let's talk through that. Are uh, you need three grain right now? No, I have three grains. All the ones oh. expired because I constantly had one, so I have three. Well, I, I'm wondering if they don't expire if you sell them to somebody. So can we can we shift our resources to each other? Yeah. Does that I make sense? Yeah, I sent one yes. to Dipsa, but I don't know if uh, it said it was spoiled. <laughs> okay, harvest. so let's just do it real quick. Everybody send your resource to someone, anybody. Just send it before it expires, when it comes back on. Is that cool? Yeah, sure. So hopefully that keeps our resource alive. You're going to tell us when you don't have money, when you need to buy stuff. Does anybody have an offer that's outstanding right now? Uh, guys, I uh, just want to let you guys know that your uh, your production quality is pretty low. It's at 3 out of 10. Uh, and that's going to impact, not now, but it's going to impact your Mobilenium harvest and your 
chief response in how he's uh, perceiving your your product. So you need to keep a lookout on that. Okay, grain. Who's got the two grain right now? You said you had three, Nicole. I have, yeah. Can you accept mm -hmm. that offer? That Twelve hundred Kronos. Chip it in and then give me that money. All right, I'm mining or I'm harvesting uh, on my mine. Come on. I, have, I only have 70 Kronos right now. So if you have a lot of extra money, send them to me if you yeah, have. Yeah, I'm sending 1,200 now. Offer, say it. What's that? That's John, right? Yeah. Two words, yes. Okay, good. Um, Deliver. All right, well, I have 2,000 Kronos. Should I buy another mine? Yes or no? Cool, right. Yeah, buy another one. I'll send you some more money. All right, I'm buying a mine right now. You can have a thousand. Okay, I just bought another mine, which should help All a right. lot. I hope. Uh, okay. Fish. Who, who fish. is the fish? David. Yeah, just if if your resource is you, just you don't need to talk about it. Just accept it. But nobody else. Does that make sense for everybody? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Accepted. Delivered. Okay, so this is what I see, just so we're all on the same page. I have two mines right there. They're both being harvested right now, and you guys have sent me 1,700 Kronos. So can we buy Movilenium from our Kronos, or should we mine it instead? I think we should buy now. Yeah, buy it. We have okay, I'm going to buy it. Can someone talk through the... Uh, Whatever you guys have right now, talk through what you I need. Just wanna, I just want to give you guys a, a note on the buying the Kronos, uh, buying the Movilenium. There's no guarantee on the quality of Movilenium you're buying when you're buying them. So just be okay. mindful of that. Uh, I am not going to buy it. I'm going to buy another <laughs> grid, though, by the way. Uh, are you Great. guys good to I'm, I have enough money to buy another mine. I'm going to do it. You're going to do yeah. it, yeah. How are you? And John, well, we're, about, we're about halfway through, I think, guys. By the way, roughly, yeah, yeah a little bit less. All right, John, I'm, I'm going to send you another. I'm going to send you another thousand uh, Kronos right now, so you can buy one more mine. Perfect. I'll buy one more. I have three harvests going right now. If you have extra money, can you send it to me? But keep keep enough money so you can what? fulfill uh, a harvest for yourself, right? To take an offer. And then what do you want? All right, we have three mines right now. I'm harvesting four mines right now. So I'm five days away, two weeks away, four weeks, uh, and four weeks away. If you still have money, keep sending it to me. I should Can be able to buy it in here in a second. Somebody accept the grain. I, I accepted it. Sweet. I'm two days away from Movilenium and one week Can away you, from the other one. Can you buy one more mine? I can't. I only have 220 Kronos. I can send you a thousand more. Yeah, don't wait. Just send it. <laughs> Your mining did not yield Movilenium. Okay, so we. <laughs> I, I was trying to accept the grain uh, sell offer. Did somebody accept it, or I don't know what happened? Sheep. There's one for sheep. So just so you know, I mined Movilenium and it, it yielded nothing. So I'm harvesting again. I'm five days away from another one, and I have two others going. If somebody can send me another. Sheep. Uh, yeah, keep keep talking. Go ahead, Craig. Sorry, it's just the sheep was there for ages, and we can't do anything else if it's just there. So we just look at the sheep screen, and who's got sheep? Did you accept or? You mind Mobilenium? Okay, so I have Mobilenium now. I need to go to market buy Mo. No, no, no. Sorry, somebody tell me what I uh, go to crop. I go to Crob and what else? I send Movilinium one inner send. So I just sent it. Hopefully our little tickler thing goes yeah, up. Did. Okay, good. I'm gonna mine again. So I've got four mines going right now, and I need money if you have it, so I can buy another mine. How much do you need? Set, just send it. Uh, whatever, whatever is comfortable with you. I have. Fish. I have 720 right now, so I have enough to mine. It, it costs 750 to mine the mines. I have four mines right now; they're all in the works, and it costs a thousand to buy it. So, 
hopefully we're, we're behind the the nemesis but i think we're going to start climbing here soon so i got a thousand to chronos to you i think you can buy one more mine if i buy one more mine i won't have enough to mine another one so i'm going to wait until i have 1500 chronos so just keep sending me money yep. need some more wood orders Okay, I'm I'm mining or harvesting another one. Um, all right, everybody, look at the tickler, see if it actually goes up. John, you said you needed money. Do you still need money? Uh, I do. Fish. Yeah, send send it, please. Okay. okay. Don't accept the fish. So, from from now on, just send me send me money and keep enough that you're comfortable with fulfilling uh, something from the chief. If he comes back, so I'm mining four mines right now. I have a thousand Chronos. Again, I'm going to hold on to the Chronos until fifteen hundred. Are you guys good with the way we're doing this, or you guys want to change stuff, or what? Well, All right, we're three days away from another Movillennium. You received eight hundred Chronos. Thanks, Sanjeev. I'm about to buy another mine and uh, harvest some other stuff on my end. Your mining did not yield movilinium. Okay, so I think based on this that probably every other one gets a movilinium, I'm guessing. Uh, I'm about to buy another mine. Are you guys good with that? Yep. Yes? Yep. Okay, I've purchased it. Uh oh, can't go back. There we go. Uh, just a word, guys, on uh, some updates. Uh, one is your production quality is still three. You need to work on that bit so that mobileniums don't get rejected when you harvest them. And the other is uh, Nemesis has, has uh, evolved to 40%. And currently, you guys are uh, the tribe with the most amount of land, which is 42%. I need 10 Movillennium if somebody, or a Kronos, if somebody can send it to me. And I want to hit on what he just said. We, yeah. can't, we can't let any offers go. So please don't wait for me. Speak up if you need to fulfill anything for an offer. Oh, no. John, I can send you some about 1,000 or 1,200 or something in a minute when this is finished. Sweet. OK. Um, so let's, let's hit really quick uh, what I was just saying. If you have an offer outstanding right now, does anybody need money? So I don't want to take your money. I want to increase our number three out of 10 to higher numbers so we don't lose our millennium in the future. We've got a lot of mines, so I think we'll, we'll make a lot if we can fulfill our offers. Yeah. So maybe we'll just go around the room. So Sanjeev, you, you have uh, anything that you want to add, subtract, ask for, or anything? And no, no, nothing, John. Robert? Uh, yeah, I would need about uh, 50 chronos for harvesting. I'm down to zero. Uh, Craig, can you send him uh, 100 instead of me? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. send him. I'll, se yeah. I'll send you a couple of hundred. Yeah. Cool. Thanks, Craig. Nicole, do you need anything right now? Yeah, I don't have anything. I, don't, I need some chronos, probably. How much chronos do you need? Hey, Craig, can you send her like. 300 chronos. Sending now. OK. Um, I'm about to mine again. Does anybody else need anything? I don't have enough chronos. I need 10. So somebody at least give me 10. I can send you 10. Sweet. Thank you. Rohit, sending you money now. I need 10 more to buy another, uh, another uh, patch. Can, do you guys want me to do it? I, I sent it. So I, we have one, two, three, four, five. We have five mines. So let's now stop focusing on me and focus entirely on you guys increasing our number, right? So fulfilling your offers. So I have a thousand chronos. I can now maybe start helping you guys fulfill your stuff. So you can tell me what you need, and I can harvest it since I have a lot of land. Is that good can or no? You, can you harvest grain for me, please? Two grains. Yep. I need grains. Yeah. You need a grain. 
And and that's the plane, right? No, no. The farm. No, I, I don't have grain. Sorry. Oh. I just, does and anybody have a grain that they can harvest uh, right now for Dipsa? Wood, yeah, I got it. Who needs money? I need money, please, Nicole. Who is it, Nicole? How much money? It doesn't matter, whatever you can spare. I have 2,000. I'll give you, you can have a thousand. Lot. Money, cool. money, money. Who else needs money? Um, two sheep. Can someone do something with the two sheep? I don't have any sheep. I have, I have. Uh, except the, except the, the offer, the offer. Oh, I skipped it, so I didn't see it. Sorry. It's okay. So right now I'm I'm only waiting. Does anybody need anything from me? We've we have a lot of mines right now, um, and we didn't. We're we're not. We're putting a lot of money into not getting Mobilinium. Um So it's more than half of the ones that expire don't give Mobilinium. So focus all of our if you need something like don't wait for somebody to ask you can you please just ask us what you yeah. need so everybody's on the same page with exactly what you need so maybe we just start a revolving clock and just go around and just say exactly what you're working on and what you need and just don't wait for me just say it right now i need one more green does anybody have a grain no no it's gonna take no. three weeks well, can you do it? Three weeks is still enough time, no? Yeah, I'm going to try and harvest. Uh, one question. How, how does the production quality go up? You, uh, you influence the production quality with your skill. So the higher your skill level, the better produce you'll create. Uh, skill levels on a scale of one to five. One being low, five being high. Okay, go around the room. Dipsa, how much money do you have? How much Kronos? I have 139. Uh, Craig? I've just done a shipment, so I have 3,000. Send it all to me. Actually, no. Send me 2,000, and then anybody else needs money, Craig, can you send the money to them? Yep. Rohit, uh, what do you need right now? Uh, just one second. I'm just selling brick that I have. Give me one second. There's a brick offer. I can buy yeah. another mine. Is that worth it or no? Yes. I'm buying another mine. Yeah, Are go ahead. Go nuts. All right. Selling more. You guys see the tickler go up in a second? Dipsa, do you still need a grain? Uh, no, I need a wood now. Okay, I'm selling you the wood, uh, Dipsa. Okay. Guys, you lost uh, one mobilinium yeah. due to bad quality. Um, yeah. We brought it into the lab and the quality wasn't very good, so we had to discard it. But you need to make sure that you submit good quality mobileniums by increasing your production quality. Otherwise, it's going to have a chain reaction on some of the other good mobileniums as well. Yeah, and we're not being able to mine. So do we have an, enough money right now? Because we only have 30 days left, can we pull all our resources and give them to Craig so that you can buy mobilenium really quick? Oh, okay, sure. So everybody send, send your money to Craig. Is that cool? How do I do that? How do I buy the Movilenium? Sorry, how do I do that? I'll, I'll walk you through it. Okay. But for, for now, just because we, we don't have enough time left, if everybody can um, yeah, it's okay. send their money to Craig. And somebody tell me how to send him money, please. You go to the fund menu. Transfer. Fund transfer. Sorry, uh, fund transfer, okay. Then just select me and put the amount in. Okay, I'm okay. sending you a thousand. No, I'm sending yeah. you eleven, eleven twenty. I'm sending you all my money. I sent all mine to Craig. 
So is everybody sent? Craig, you should. How much do you have right now? Uh, four thousand six hundred. Yeah, go ahead and buy. You can buy two Movilenium. So how do I do that? You, I'm going to tell you how to do it. You go to uh, the menu. You go to Crob, C R O B. Yeah, got it. You go to um, send MV, and then you should be yeah. able to. No, not send MV. Um, I have no MV. Sorry, sorry, I've said that wrong. Go to buy. I'm sorry. Well, shoot. Did I mess that up? How do I I'll buy? You should no, be able I can't to buy anything. To... No. Nope. We, we got 11, 10 day, 11 days left. Uh, I think Hold what on. you mean to say is go to uh, market. I can buy Movilenium. Here we go. Yeah. Sorry. So yes. I can buy two. Buy, buy I'll as buy much two. as you have. Does anybody yeah, else have any two. money? I bought two. Okay, now sorry, now Craig, you tell me how to buy it now, because <laughs> I have two. Uh, go to the menu, go to market, yep. and yep. then go buy MV. Buy MV two thousand. See how much you, yeah. Uh, Craig, I think you need to go to Crob now. I've done that. Left. Oh, okay, cool. Oh no, sorry. Hold on. I go to Crob now and send MV. Do I? Yeah, I think so. Yes. We have three Where days. Left. We have three days left. Does anybody days. have enough money? Does anybody I'll have any money right now? I sent mobile. I sent it. Does anybody have any Movilenium right now that they can send? Right, time's up. How much points? Yeah. Okay. Sorry. All right. Sorry, everybody. Hey, that's okay, uh, right? Uh, I think we did good. That's okay. We're on the. Our chart looks good. Global All right, here's a special dollars. message for you guys coming in. You might want to listen to this. We were a great people, but our singularity was our tragic flaw. We collaborated, but our alignment remained superficial. We focused, but our attention became diverted. Our mighty effort was spent, not to win, but to not lose. The laws of ever-evolving nature have no room for dormant ecosystems, because survival is not the answer. Evolution is. No, we didn't evolve. What? Oh, what man. the heck? <laughs> just, just cynical. Wow, we. That was a close one. You guys almost evolved. <laughs> Do you know how many millenniums you were short? Did you know how many millenniums you needed? Probably one. I had right? to guess based on the thing. We were probably one or two away. I'm guessing. Yeah, one. One. Oh man, that was really close. That was mm. really close. Um, it's the closest that any team has come. Well, there was one team that actually won in the first time they played it. Of the couple thousand of these that I've done, there was one team, and this team was the Singapore uh, government. You know, the Singapore government actually employs some of the best and brightest minds of Singapore. Uh, and uh, it was the Singapore Civil Services um, College uh, people who were part of the sim uh, civil services uh, system. And they won in the first iteration, the first time they ever played it. And you guys are the closest that ever came to winning in the first iteration. Yeah, All right. Yeah. Good job, well, everybody. Well That's awesome. Well done, well done. I have to give it to you guys because you guys played really, really well. Um, I have to say. Awesome. All right, so let's do you say, try. Or do you say that to everyone? 
<laughs> no, I, why would I? I mean, I don't have a reason to, uh, but I'd, I'd love to know uh, what happened here. And trust me, when I, when we do these debriefs, you know, I tend to beat people up with it, but you guys did a fantastic job. Uh, there were so many things you guys did right. But before we get into, you know, the debriefing and talking about what happened here, I want to hear from you guys, you know, what happened with each of you and what was your story like? Because every person had a unique gaming and learning experience in this process so what was your story I'm, I'm keen to hear all of you so can't hear you sanjeev I think it's your network, maybe. You were frozen. Yeah. You're good now, I think. Yeah, you're okay now. Is yeah. it fine now? Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, great. Okay. So I did move out of the video call for 10 minutes. It was a power mm -hmm. outage in Pune. Uh, but luckily, you know, by that time, we had understood some amount of the game mechanics. I was just looking on my mobile, and I could still sell fish. I could still trade things with Nicole, and it was fantastic at that time and that's when we understood okay fine some the things that we had decided has kind of fallen into place mm. uh, and i was just getting these updates on the mobile screen and i was happy that okay we are evolving or you know i think we lost one mobilium uh, in the middle right i think if we had not lost that we would have evolved maybe uh, but it was a fantastic experience i think uh, Sanjeev, I missed, I think we all missed the last part of what you said. Yes, I just said that with everybody uh, playing their role in the, you know, what we had decided in terms of resources and John helping us with, you know, kind of stitching it up all together. I think it kind of helped us, which we did. Yeah, yeah. Super. Wow. Nicole, you've been really quiet during the gameplay. I really am curious to know how was your experience? What happened? What was your story like? You know, I'm not looking for feedback on the game, but I really want to know what happened with you on in terms of what happened with your experience. Yeah, yeah. I, I um, usually was something I, I, I don't usually do. And I thought, oh, well, it's a game. So I, I, I um, kind of sold everything and I didn't have any money. Um, so I got money and then it kind of started. So I think my my kind of my Where I went wrong, I think is probably I didn't keep money to myself, you know, I put everything into it um, And I think you know in, in daily life you wouldn't do that anyway, but um, I think that's probably why I was so quiet as well and figuring it out um, and also strategy strategy wise I'm, I'm very I always look for the bigger picture and it was at at that point it was going to the left of the screen, going to the right of the screen. Um, that that kind of triggered me off in terms of if everything would have been on the left or everything would have been on the right, it would have been a lot easier for me. Um, so I think that's kind of kind of my learning experience. But but yeah, I, I enjoyed it a lot. But I think um, I must admit I think because there was the, the coordination of John, it was a, a, a that's probably why we all did so well as well because there was oversight in terms of okay you know how are we going to survive kind of thing and that's probably missing at the moment in the world as well so <laughs> i think that's you know that's kind of how everything goes yeah I, I would have to second that as well nicole because most teams are lacking a singular leadership or most teams are lacking somebody that's kind of if not leadership, but at least managing that project management bit. And because that was present here, it kind of served as a glue to get everybody together and get everybody coordinated and working together with each other. So that was a really interesting dynamic to see. And I think the both it goes both ways, wherein on one side, uh, John was willing and able to step up to the plate and take that responsibility. But at the same time, there were other members who were willing for him to take that role up, you know, because you could end up being a contender and, and not let that happen. 
Um, and, and that goes to, to, you know, that speaks to how you perceive that person. You know, do you see that person as a threat or as a, as a comrade? And when you see that person as a collaborator, then things change. And I think everybody here allowed that to happen as well. So, mm. And I would have to say that John also was asking for permission along the way, which was really, really unique and interesting to see because he was asking for permission, he was giving permission, he was proving himself that he was asking for some more permission. And continuously, he gained a lot of trust along the way as well. So it's really interesting dynamic to see. Yeah. Any others? I'm, I'm interested to hear other stories as well. Um, yeah, so uh, I think I'll go next. Uh, I think what I liked was that uh, we all had um, different people at different points of time were, you know, um, giving money to each other. They were asking, does anyone need help? Uh, and I thought as a team also, we worked very well. So while, you know, John was the glue um, in the beginning, uh, later Craig had a lot more money and John was like, okay, Craig, go ahead, buy as much as you want. Right. So uh, initially, I remember we were. I, I think I had given a little bit of money to Craig and all that. And later, he gave me much more towards the end of the game. So it was nice. Nice to see how the roles reverse as well. You know, in the entire activity. Uh, so that was good to see. Uh, that's really fascinating, Rohit, that you mentioned that because we've seen. I've seen so many of these games, and uh, you know, this is one of those teams that did really well in terms of kind of. Uh, uh, arranging and being flexible with each other but in other teams I've seen you know people end up uh, fighting with each other and it just ends up being so dysfunctional um, and there's a lack of transparency with you know members not showing and telling what they're doing what they're working on and there's just immense um, layers and layers of what happens behind the scene, which nobody knows about. So people would accept the offer and nobody would say that. And, and here, I mean, I think there was an instance where Dipsa accepted an offer that did not belong to her. And, and I, I, wanted, I want to double click on that a little bit and really kind of talk to you about that. What happened in that, in that process? Because there was something really beautiful and unique that also happened there. You want, you want to talk about that for a minute? Yeah, so uh, honestly, what happened was for me, I'm not really a digital game person at all. So initially, it took me a while to understand that once I accept the offer and then to even deliver it also, honestly, right? So that was one thing. Second, uh, you know, once it happened that I just accepted something because I was like, you know, I want to do something, you know. So I was trying to, okay, oh, John, uh, you know, John is uh, being such a good leader. Craig is always uh, passing on resources. So I want to do something or, you know, something like that was going on in my mind. And I accepted something and I realized I don't have it. And I immediately asked that I have accepted this offer, but I don't have it. And I think Nicole at that time said that she said she has it and John prompted probably that, you know, if someone else has it and they can send it. So that came out really beautiful. I really liked, uh, you know, as Nicole said, that John took the leadership. And as you rightly mentioned, we all collaborated as a team and, you know, supported that leadership. And I also noticed uh, how Craig and even Rohit, you know, they were also, I think, resource makers as well, because they were the people who kept on sending resources, spe specifically Craig, I guess, you know, he he actually kept on sending resources. So, you know, he was one of the biggest contributor in that, in that sense. So yes, a lot of uh, fun and a lot of learnings as well. So, but that's a that's a great incident that you picked up, Martin. Yeah. Yeah. So I want to I want to talk about that because you you in that moment actually admitted and said, yeah, I accepted that by accident, right? And you could have very well chosen to not talk about it because there was no way anybody was going to know that. What enabled that to happen is what I want to know. Uh, so two things. One is, uh, one is you know, one is of course the in a personality trait. That is one. But second is I think also there was a lot of trust building uh, amongst all of us from the very beginning. So like how everyone uh, John was asking before buying something or you know going on to something how. How everyone was gracious about sending their resources to each other. So that kind of allowed me. Uh, that uh, to accept that yes i have and you know since i talk about collaboration a lot you know it's one of our biggest core values in the organization and i understand that if you don't know something if you don't have something you have to speak up right so that was one of the things that uh, enabled me absolutely wow that's a that's a big one right feeling comfortable enough to admit that you did something wrong 
And, and that's the kind of safety that we have to create, right? As, as leaders and as teams, teams that are, that are able to establish that kind of a comfort and, and safety for each other are teams that are able to be transparent with each other and go places. Wow, super. Um, I want to invite some of the others. Uh, Craig, do you want to want to come in? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I think uh, probably just going to reiterate most of, of what Dips has said, what John said, what, what Rohit said. Um, just with, I think it was a good spirit amongst the team to start with. You know, we uh, settled on what we were going to do quite quickly. Um, and then as everybody else has, has quite rightly praised John for, for pulling us all together and just kind of, making things a little bit more transparent I think um, because one thing I realized quite quite early doors was okay I'm selling I'm doing a few shipments or, or whatever and um, I thought okay everybody's doing the same and we've all got some money coming in and we're you know we're going quite well um, and then it was more John's sort of questioning and saying okay who's got what what who needs what made me realize okay we're not all with money we're not all with resources or, or whatever so okay can i just start spreading uh, spreading these out a little bit more so without that oversight of that that, that that top level it may not have happened as, as smooth so yeah i think that that middle as uh, i think john's job anyway is a facilitator so it's that it's facilitation for me that's that's that, that, that's what he was doing so um and you see the benefit when you work as a group working on the same topic but in a way that you can't see what the others are doing really so that no, was good yeah yeah so i was actually <laughs> oh sorry go ahead uh i was i was actually uh i don't know if this will make any sense to you guys but there's a show called survivor um and usually the person that actually steps up and says hey let's do this or what do you think about that they're usually the one that gets voted off so i was like i don't want to be the one in this group to go Hey, like, can I, you know, can I help type of thing? But like, when you guys said yes, the way that it was in my head that I couldn't articulate that I think would have probably sped things up, I think would have probably helped if I, instead of saying that I owned the mines, if I said, hey, I'm the escrow, I'm like the escrow account, I'm the proxy, I'm the trust everybody put all your stuff into the trust and then now i can reallocate the resources i think it probably would have gone better by just a very small tweak in the um, definition of what i was saying that i was and then like there's a couple two other things uh, and i know maybe you didn't ask for this but there was a point in time where craig had so much money that you almost should have bought your own mines and i don't know why i didn't just say why are you sending me your money for me to buy this stuff? Yeah. Like you buy your own mines, buy your own yeah. millennium. Like yeah. that's one I'm thing. Sure a, that's a question actually. Maybe most in is, uh, could I, uh, I had five of the, what do you call them? I forget the name of them. You know, where you, your actual forest or, or whatever across the screen, there was space for five and I had five. Um, so that's why I was constantly harvesting just, oh. Harvesting, harvesting, harvesting. Um, could I have bought uh, mine? Could I? Could I have done? Yeah, that? you could buy as many as you want. I mean, oh, if you have I enough can. money, you could buy the entire land. Yeah, and that's the that's the thing. Like, if you guys saw my screen, yeah. Like, so, so two two things. This goes to my uh, the other point that I wanted to say. Like, every time I bought a mine, I also bought the two lands that were next to it, right? But to me, I didn't care about those extra lands. So I could have bought ones that had lands that helped you guys, you know, at one point I couldn't give sheep, you know, whatever that was so that I could help you. But you should have seen my screen. I had to like scroll to get to the mines because I had so much land and all I cared about was the mine. So there was one thing there. And then the other uh, piece that I wanted to, to mention was like, so we have six of us. We could have actually broken down roles outside of this. So like Craig could have been the Kronos guy and he could have just gone around and said, I have X, Dipsa, how much you have, uh, you know, and just go around and ask that, you know, Dipsa could have been the person that was uh, about the chief, like who has an offer right now that needs something. And then instead of working with the person that needs it, Dipsa could have gone to Craig and said, Hey, 
row it needs X in order to do Y, and it just kind of frees people. I don't know. I'm maybe I'm just like nerding out over here. No, it makes a lot of sense. Actually, in the middle of the game somewhere, I did did think of it, but I thought, you know, let's let's continue with what we are doing. <laughs> but it's a lesson, I guess. Yeah. I I can totally see how you would see the nemesis climbing and go, oh, we suck and everything falls apart. But it's like, if you saw my screen and I didn't articulate this very well, I had so many minds and they were all happening. And even if only a third got a millennium, we were going to start climbing very rapidly at the end. So slow start, great foundation, I think allowed us to do that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Wow, so many, uh, so many interesting insights and, and learnings from this uh, from this gameplay. Um, I, I wanna I wanna talk one one little bit something that I, I recognized earlier um, that Craig was talking about is uh, the facilitation, right? Um, I think as leaders and as um, as as managers of people, one of the things we really need as a skill is facilitation. And um, and if you look at um, IC Consortium, uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar with IC Agile, but International Consortium of, of Agile. And in the, um, in the International Consortium of Agile, they have many different programs. And one of the programs is coaching. And uh, the IC Agile's coaching program, the entire program is to equip leaders with the ability to uh, moderate and facilitate um, various aspects of business. So, so as leaders, we're no longer just you know managing work. We are now facilitators of work, and we're helping people manage their energies as they're doing that. And we're, because we don't have all the answers, just like John did not have all the answers, he was relying on you guys to do your part in fulfilling the offers and doing certain things, so that you know, that, that process could take place. So a very, very interesting testament to uh, the power of facilitation, even in business, right? Um, let's talk about some takeaways from today's experience because, you know, nothing really uh, is as important as taking this back to our workplace and our, and our lives back home. So what do you think are some important learnings that we could bring back to our uh, to our workplace. Wow. What does this? What does it take to collaborate and communicate effectively in the digital world? Because you guys played this game in the digital world. What are some nuggets, if you will, that you want to take back? I think also. Um, I think it's to do with, uh, with backgrounds as well. Um, I think, to be honest, we're probably all very comfortable with the digital side, cameras on, um, speaking, even though we might not have lots of gaming experience. But I think that probably also helps, you know, for, for I think many of us, it's now you see somebody and straight away, you know, that's comfortable. So you want to collaborate, you're, you're straight away, you're going into the right direction. I think maybe with a lot of other teams, they come from a different mindset. Um, I think maybe there's something to do with it as well. Um, and and kind of how you can take this um, in. Um, I think for, for me, um, there, there's quite a quite a lot of learning because I already kind of stepped into it, taking a back seat, which I usually not <laughs> not do, uh, which um, I think is also good um, to, to, to see, okay, how does that affect things and how, how does it affect uh, the communication side of things as well? Yeah, I want to uh, second that big time, like the, I mean, who was it? So the Craig, you you talked about your background, which I think would have been, um, I mean, all of us. But the thing that comes to mind from what Nicole just said was, I definitely probably should have at some point relinquished some of the stuff that I was just fumbling through and just said, Craig, you got this, like, take it from here type of thing. And I didn't. And I think if we actually knew each other where we had got to ask questions and get to know each other a little bit better, we'd be able to rely on each other for those types of things a lot easier. 
Yeah, I think that's uh, I think that's true. You kind of yeah, obviously these things they go through as we you, they go through your mind as you're you're doing this, uh, uh, doing the, the the tasks. But yeah, I thought at the time myself, I thought, okay, I'm gonna, you know, John's been brave enough in a way. He's put his hand up to say, okay, I'll start. You know, I'll be the first one. I'll suggest, you know, I'll suggest something. I'll try and pull us together to um, figure out a way. And I thought you were doing a good job of that. So. You know, I think changing anything mid task would have been complicated, um, to be honest. But you're right. If we'd have known each other, maybe a little bit more, maybe someone is really good at, I don't know, some element of the, the game um, as well that we could have leaned on. But no, I think, I think we did it all, did it all pretty well, actually. And for me, the, the biggest sort of takeaway is something that you you know really already and I think it doesn't matter whether it's online or face to face is that you never know exactly what the other person's going through right and you've got to um, as John said you you need to ask some questions right you need to figure out who's got money who's struggling who doesn't know where to click for the thing who's you know because you can assume everybody's on the same competence level and just focus on your little nugget and go come on come on come on but actually, we're all on various scales here. So um, I think it's diff- more difficult to see it online because um, you get wrapped up in your own world. But I think it's definitely something that happens face to face too. Yeah, that, that was my biggest, one of my biggest takeaways. The last thing you just said, and uh, Monson said, uh, did I pronounce your name right? Sorry. Monson. Monson. Okay. Uh, was. He actually paused and said, you guys are all at different levels here. Some of you guys are blah, blah, blah. Some of you are good. Some of you are technology. Some of you, et cetera. And it was like, I attempt to work around that as a facilitator in real life. But I think coming out and actually saying that is very powerful. So it would have been more powerful now that I know it. Uh, going back, I would have been like, oh, hey, somebody somebody doesn't understand the, the, the game at all, but maybe we coach them through it. Somebody understands, you know, the resources, so they're in charge of it. Like, I think it would have been better that way, but um, that's a big, huge takeaway. Yeah, and what I'm hearing also you, you talk about is, is the kind of transparency that we create, right, for each other, and, and how, how do we navigate through that what kind of what can what do we do that enables powerful and well-established channels of communication so that people can feel free to give that feedback when they don't know what's going on and uh, when they don't understand something and at the same time there is immense transparency that enables us to work together so like Craig said you know you never know what's going on in somebody else's life but if you create that channel of communication and you have transparency then people can share and talk about it yeah uh, i just probably add this to what uh, Mohsen said uh, i think it's also about being vulnerable uh, and that's not very easy uh, i think like um, john just mentioned when he said from level 0 to level 10 uh, it's not very easy to say that okay look i'm not very clear and i'll probably just follow what everyone uh, i think nicole also said that in between i i know i'll probably just follow what's going on uh, and i think when it's uh, when we feel comfortable to be vulnerable and share like that uh, i think it really adds to the trust and the safety levels uh, and i think the fact that we could all see each other uh, i think that also helps uh, we don't really know each other um, in a big way we had a very small introduction uh, but even then uh, we were able to work uh, and share you know so that really helps yeah seeing each other makes a huge difference yes uh, and I've, I've noticed that teams that turn their cameras on are more effective and more uh, are creating more of an impact than teams that don't turn the cameras on because there are so many facial cues that you're able to pick up on just by looking at each other and know that somebody's lost and what you can do to help them you know those are the cues that you wouldn't otherwise get because you just have a, a blank you know screen on the as an icon. I think so you're, so you're things... saying, so, just so I'm, uh, for my own pride, you're saying the team that actually did the best out of everyone that you've ever done was a, was a pre-existing team, which means we are the best non-pre-existing team to do this ever. 
Uh, no, th that group also didn't know each other. Oh, okay. All right. Second ah, place. I can take it. <laughs> <laughs> So I think uh, so I just wanted to add something, you know. So uh, I think uh, what all we spoke about in terms of uh, what is the takeaway uh, is bang on. Uh, but I also feel that uh, there's one more point that we uh, have to really pat our backs on is we actually created a flow of communication at the outset itself by giving certain roles uh, by John coming up uh, and saying that you know I will facilitate the entire thing and be agreeing to it. So the reason that we were one able to uh, you know trust. Uh, and share information freely and it was a little bit more faster I assume than most of the other teams would have been and uh, you know with Dipsa's uh, case of you know showing her vulnerable side when she picked up something that she, sh she shouldn't have that all those things happened because there was this one person we knew who we had to communicate and not to the entire you know, sea of people that are around us uh, so that kind of helped uh, uh, Build that thing that okay. I need to whatever it is. I need to tell to John, and it's John who is going to facilitate with the other people and get the information back to me. I think it all unconsciously or subconsciously that network was already built, and I think that kind of helped us also. Can we yeah. can we get wow. your last name so that we can connect as well as Nicole? Is that okay with you guys? I think we can yeah, probably sure. have everybody else because of their last names on, uh, on this, but I'd love to connect with you guys before we end. Sounds good, yeah. Great. Yeah, I think we I'll, should put something I'll together. Post, I think I'll write a post well. connecting all of you guys as well. Yeah, so that, that you guys will be able to see each other. Uh, but you know, this is all the time we have for the debrief. But I'm pretty sure you guys are recognizing that this can go on, and it can be debriefed in so many different and unique ways um, with respect to the different competencies that you are focusing on. So, um, so with that, folks, I want to thank you all for being here today. Uh, it was a real pleasure having you here, playing the game, uh, learning, interacting and uh, you know having fun hopefully in the process uh, but um, uh, remember to uh, continue the learning and um, if there's uh, you know if there's anything that we can help you with in terms of the, the certification if that's an interest for you then um, let me know we could add you to the program and I'll stick around for a little while longer to answer any questions that you might have but from a program standpoint from a demo standpoint this is done uh, we are concluding this, uh, and um, thank you for everybody for being here. Thank Great to thank you so much, I'm Proud to be part of it. Thank you very much. Yeah, nice thank you. you. Really enjoyed it. Pleasure is mine. Thank much. you very much. Thank if you, you want to stick around, master. I'll be here for thank a couple you. more minutes to answer any questions. Um, yeah, I didn't have some questions. So of course, I mean, um, mm. you know that. Um, Hi everyone, thank you so much. Kind of great connecting. Hi, uh, Mohsen, I'm also just uh, holding back. I had a couple of questions too. Okay, sure. Yeah, me too. Yeah. All right, Nicole. I'm holding back for the answers. <laughs> <laughs> great. Okay, uh, Mohsen, I wanted to understand. I mean, um, this might not, everybody might not be aware of it, but you know, you we actually explored another game, right? When you had to come to the office and we had explored another game and we talked about, you know, probably kind of launching something for our web use piece, right? Now, um, coincidentally, that piece is still, uh, you know, is still to go live. It's still, we have still not found anything else. And honestly, mm -hmm. I don't know the interface or not, that the one that we are exploring right now, the one that we had, we had explored. Um, so I understand that there are two or three different uh, gamified versions that you have right now because one I have seen before and one I'm seeing now. So I wanted to know that if we were to do something else with the same piece, which was a values piece, you know, but some other game, is it possible? I mean, can we can we develop something else for it? You know, probably incorporating something like this or kind of a challenge scenario or a business game scenario or something like that. Yeah, we this game works really well for for values as well because there are a number of competencies and and uh, components that the game touches upon. Uh, for example, we ran a program for PwC's values, and uh, the game aligns the PwC values really really closely. And I'm pretty sure it would uh, for you guys as well. I know the values you're talking about, so so it would. And maybe that's a conversation that we could have either for this game or one of the other ones that we've got uh, in this context. Yeah, happy sure. to talk to you about that. Sure, okay. Oops. 
Uh, Mohsen, I had one question, uh, right? Uh, so if you're talking about the competencies that the games cover. So most of the games or most of you know the assessments and everything have certain list of competencies that they cover and other stuff and all. So do you have something like that which is uh, which can help us understand you know what are the kind of competencies or values that you could generally hit through this uh, to playing this game? Yeah, so at the beginning of this session, I don't know if you were around to see that, but there were six competencies that I covered. They range from collaboration, communication, problem solving, decision making, uh, VUCA, and um, strategic thinking. Um, all right, Nicole, see you later. Take care. Uh, and uh, so these are the competencies that, that we focus on. These are broad level competencies. Uh, but we also have a longer list of some 27 or 28 competencies that the game touches upon. Of course, you can't teach all the competencies in one engagement, so you have to space that out, and you have to play multiple rounds of the game to teach the various competencies. Uh, but I'm happy to share the list with you if you'd like. Awesome. That would help. Thank you so much. Right. Um, one question, Mohsen, that I had, um, we we're just trying to understand because this is one of the activities that we were planning to. Rohit, I think we lost you. Are you there? Yeah, I think it's. Yeah, we, we've lost him. I think we lost him. Uh, um, Right, Mohsin, thank you so much. Uh, anyways, it, it was a wonderful experience, and we will definitely connect later. And I'll sign Thanks. off. All right. Thank All righty. You. Take care. Bye. Thank you, Mohsin. Even I'm signing off. We can bye. Bye. Yeah, I'm done. I'm just wrapping up, putting it away.